Hello everyone, welcome to IT Training Nepal. So if you have not subscribed channel, please don't forget to subscribe channel. Okay, so I have been working on the Laravel and I have given a lot of interview to the company and a lot of the people usually ask how the Laravel request lifecycle works. Okay, so for that um, uh, many times I don't know why people and basically in Nepal I don't know why people ask those things okay so because they want the coder not uh, they want the framework maker okay so but also today i am going to explore more on request life cycle of laravel okay so the how the request life cycle works in laravel and if you are beginner in laravel and if you want to go to the interview okay so don't forget to see this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel and let's see about the request life cycle of laravel okay so let's see how the request life cycle of laravel works first of all what we will do is what does this request means okay so let's know about the request okay so for example i have one website okay so this time giving giving the example okay so i have one website which made in the laravel okay so just suppose for example i have one website called uh, something okay so maybe the facebook.com okay so i have one website called the facebook.com uh, for example and it it uh, had made in the laravel okay so what will happen is when we hit www.facebook.com okay so when we hit that what will happen is first of all when we hit that when the user hit that what will happen is it will go to the web server okay so first of all what will happen it will go to the web server where the uh, thing is hosted okay so the uh, ip okay so these things so the url the, the locator okay so the locator search in the web server and web server always hit in the public index.php okay so you can go and check out the laravel which have a public dot index.php anyway in any website okay any website okay any type of website what will happen is if we request the http it will go to the ad server and it will hit the index page okay so it doesn't matter which type of index index.js or index.php or index.html okay but it have to be hit it will search first of all the index file okay so don't forget if anyone asks you from now that what happens when you go to the http request what will happen in here is it will go to the web server and search the index file I in Laravel what happen is in the index file you can just go and see and explore the index file and uh, there you can just see that you can it have the bootstrap autoload okay so what will happen is it loads the autoloader okay so you can just go and check it out it will go and see the autoloader and what will happen in this autoload loads the application bootstrap it loads the bootstrap and bootstrap start and it will repeat the instance of the application and what will happen is it uh, will go to as the bootstrap app.php and all the app things okay so all the app things will be in the app.php and the error handling detect the environment in here and the app http kernel.php okay so this will receive the request and return the response okay so the app http kernel okay what we have here and then it will go towards the register all the service provider okay so what will happen it will register the service provider okay service provider register and it will go towards the service providers okay so it will boot all the service providers what will happen it will boot it and then it will dispatch request by router okay so what will happen is it dispatch the request by router and the, what will happen is here okay so here we are calling the router which is in the route wave and then it will go to call to the, the route call to the controller and the action will happen and the action controller will call the render and view and then the rest of the response will come from the user okay so anyone any people 
asks you about the things that request life cycle in Laravel. Okay, so if the people someone please someone asks that uh, you have to understand that I don't know why they want those things. Okay, so I know why they want those things. Maybe they want to make a framework or they want a web developer or the framework developer. So God knows that. So anyone asks you just say that the request the user will when request the http request it will go to the web server and then public index okay so any type of the request first of all go to as the index file okay and in laravel from index it will load the auto load bootstrap and bootstrap start bootstrap app and app http kernel receive the request and return response and the service provider registers and boot all the service providers from the service provider and then dispatch request by the router and then the route to the controller controller action and the view and http response okay so thank you so much for watching the video and this is very much powerful and this very learning uh, thing you have to understand you have to know the request life cycle of the laravel thank you so much don't forget to like subscribe and share the channel okay so thank you so much see you in the next video